So first GSAC win of the year, pretty good one. Team came in here, you know, they came in with a 10-0 10 10 and 0 record, a little deceiving, four of those by forfeit. Yeah. Uh, foul situation all game long was odd. Did you feel like this game was being called a little tight? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I think, um, yeah, it was tough to get a rhythm, particularly like in the first half and then continuing in the second half. I mean, I didn't always understand the calls. Um, that makes two but, of us. Yeah, <laughs> at the same time. Um, you know, they're out here trying to do their jobs and, you know, whatever philosophy they have coming in, you got to sort of adapt and figure it out. And so, you know, nice part we did. We we're able to sort of get the win, and but it was a very physical game, a lot of contact, and um, and so uh, real happy to get that first piece out there. Ten, ten straight victories now. Mm -hmm. Nice trip to the Pacific Northwest. I was watching on the stream. Yeah. I got a little worried when I saw Andrea go down. Yeah. Hobble back to the line, yeah. flip in a free throw, then I didn't see her for two days. Yes, yes. <laughs> so uh, uh, out in Arizona, yes, yeah, she kind of tweaked her knee a little bit. Uh, there was nothing uh, structurally wrong with it, which was good. Um, but, you know, we, we she tried to go in the second, uh, the third game that we had out there. But, uh, you know, we uh, she could we could have used her uh, for a few more minutes, but uh, we decided to, you know, think about the long-term aspect. Oh, but yeah. Nice sure, part sure. is the team is deep. Um, so th this kind of group, they don't have a lot of excuses. So, you know, we talk about that a lot, next person up, and, you know, and uh, be able to get those three wins up. I was uh, pouring over the statistics yeah. last night getting ready for this. It's very impressive yeah. the number of minutes each of these girls get. You guys go 10, sometimes 11, sometimes 12 deep, yeah. and there's really not a whole lot of drop-off. Yeah, that's the biggest challenge for us, to be honest with us, is how to, how we're going to get everybody in. And we talk about it a lot. I mean, I think what I talk about is that, you know, our end goal is to win games. And for you guys, it's gonna, some of you are going to sacrifice. Some of you are going to sacrifice more than others. So it's tough, you know, when you want to get in. I mean, I have a lot of conversations with the players about why they got in or why they didn't. And at the same time, like, um, you know, I think they're starting to recognize, like, hey, a lot of people can play. And getting those wins without key people, like, you know, getting a couple wins without Andrea, getting a win without Naomi, who's been starting for us, those things kind of uh, recognize, like, hey, so get everybody in. Minutes each. Next person up, then, you know, and, uh, be able to get those three wins up. I was uh, pouring over the statistics yeah. last night getting ready for this. It's very impressive yeah. the number of minutes each of these girls get. You guys go 10, sometimes 11, sometimes 12 deep, yeah. and there's really not a whole lot of drop-off. Yeah, that's the biggest challenge for us, to be honest with us, is how, to, how we're going to get everybody in. And we talk about it a lot. I mean, I think what I talk about is that, you know, our end goal is to win games. And for you guys, it's gonna, some of you are going to sacrifice. Some of you are going to sacrifice more than others. So it's tough, you know, when you want to get in. I mean, I have a lot of conversations with the players about why they got in or why they didn't. And at the same time, like, um, you know, I think they're starting to recognize, like, hey, a lot of people can play. And getting those wins without key people, like, you know, getting a couple wins without Andrea, getting a win without Naomi, who's been starting for us, those things kind of uh, just to remind you, like, hey, other players are capable of doing it. So. I think we still have a lot of room to grow as a team. Like we're and still and figuring that's, out things. that's the fun part. Yes, Because you absolutely. just game one at GSAC, yeah. final time through that league. Yeah. Let's mm -hmm. see what we can do. Let's get out there and do some damage. Yeah, I mean, this is going to be a tough league. I mean, uh, if you Always look at is. the records, uh, everybody did well in non-conference play. So I don't think uh, it's going to be any easy wins. I think it's going to be survival of the fittest. you got to try to take care of home home court and try to hopefully split on the road, if not better. If you lose at home, you got to try to win two on the road to make up for that at some point. So it's going to be a tough, uh, long haul. But tell you what, this is a better Ottawa team than I've seen uh, in my, two, in my uh, years here. So right. uh, how many years now? Is it three? Is it three? My third year here, yeah. yeah. We three. don't count the COVID year because yeah. nobody remembers it's, that. Exactly. And I was telling Coach, like, I, you know, I thought this, this was a better Ottawa team um, for sure. Um, but, you know, again, it's going to be tough to win on people's courts. And, that's, you know, I'm glad that we can make it tough tonight. And we got a tough one on Saturday. And, um, and Arizona we'll Christian get. coming here, and they are always a thorn in our side. Yeah, I'll tell you what, they have hurt us time and time again, <laughs> for sure. So, But, uh, you know, kudos to them. You know, they've got some good players and playing well themselves. So, you know, honestly, uh, you know, we're up for the challenge. And, and uh, if we're not, then I, I still think this team can get a lot better. So we'll, we'll This team is solid. They're we'll deep. We'll a game at a time. For sure. and, and the statistics yeah. down the line, they even themselves out. Minutes yeah. played, free throw percentages, Absolutely. all of that. It's just phenomenal. Yeah, and again, as long as we approach it the right way, I mean, again, we're, you know, this is a team that, um, you know, we returned a lot of players from the previous year. 
Um, you know, may, may come to surprise for some people in terms of how we're doing it, but, you know, we, we, were, we lost some key people last year when we had won seven in a row. And, and after we lost those key people, really it was tough for us after that. We had some good chemistry going. Uh, we're one of the few teams that returned a good amount of players and were able to add to that. So for me, you know, obviously uh, we had a mature group getting them from being heavily sophomores to juniors and seniors. That makes a big difference, but by no means are we uh, a finished product by any means, but honestly, uh, it's, they're a fun group to watch, so if you haven't had a chance to come see them, you should hey, come see them. if you can't be here, be yeah. on the stream with me, because yeah. this is an exciting basketball team. Yeah, I appreciate, appreciate that. You do a great job, and so Thank I appreciate you, all the work you do. Appreciate it. And, um, you know, honestly, for us, um, going into GSAC play, I think it's a learning experience for a lot of people. We're learning how to play uh, at this level, and uh, so far they're doing a great job. You know, yeah, and, and, and all your girls are eloquent when they come on after the games. They, yeah. they say nice things. They're yeah. just a, they're just a good group of gals. Yeah, I tell you, uh, I'm glad to hear that for sure. <laughs> we, we, we try to squeeze them a little bit in practice to make sure they understand those things. But, uh, yeah, we're real proud of them and uh, super happy with the group we have. Yeah, no doubt. Proud yeah. of the first win of the GSAC this yes. year, Coach. Thanks yes. for joining me. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it. I got you. You got here, me? Here. There we go. There we go. That's Coach Corey Laster. I'm right. Dave Rosenthal. Final score once again. Yeah. Warriors walk out of here with a 93-68 win. Setting you up for game two, about 14 minutes away. Men's basketball on the way next. We'll see you inside of 14 minutes right here at Warrior Arena.